What's going on, tubers and snackers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Rumble, and we are back with another Xbox 360 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the games that I got on sale, some of the other games that are not on sale, and games that require DLC, if you're interested. So since there is absolutely no time to waste, let's get into it. We have Alien Rage. Uh, this is a first-person shooter. Uh, it is uh, 99 cents, and it's by the same people that made Sniper Ghost Warrior. So I recommend picking this one up. Next, we have Anna Extended Edition. This is a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, this is currently $1.99, and um, I picked this one up, and I recommend that you do as well if you're into this, uh, this genre. Uh, next, we have uh, Bionic Commando Rearmed. This is a, uh, a platformer running gun. Uh, this is currently 99 cents on sale and, and digital only, like I said. Next, we have uh, Black Knight Sword. This is a platformer uh, at currently at $2.49. Uh, this is a Suda51 uh, game. Um, I have not played this, but um, it looked interesting, so I did pick it up uh, uh, on this sale. Next up, we have Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate Deluxe Edition. Uh, this is a Metroidvania style game. It's very different from the other Arkham games. Uh, it's currently on sale for $4.99. Uh, the only other way you can get this is on PS Vita uh, for probably about six times the price. So I recommend picking this one up um, like I did. Bloody good time. This is a first-person multiplayer shooter. Uh, it is 99 cents. Um, so for that price, I, I did pick this one up. Uh, I don't know much about it, but uh, seeing that it is under $2, uh, I thought it was good to uh, just get it. Uh, next, we have a, uh, a surprise edition this week, actually, and that is Charlie Murder. I had mentioned this game in uh, my first video uh, about the Xbox 360 marketplace uh, shutting down. Uh, this is a beat-em-up uh, hack-and-slash type game. Uh, it is currently on sale for 99 cents, uh, and I 1000% recommend that you pick this one up. Uh, next, we have Child of Light. This is a turn-based RPG that is currently on sale for $2.99. Uh, you can also get this on Xbox One, so really the choice is yours. Uh, but $2.99 is still a good price for this game, and I, I did enjoy this one. Uh, next up, we have Cloudberry Kingdom, also notoriously one of the hardest platformers um, uh, on the 360. Um, this one is uh, on sale for $1.99, so if you want to have a challenge and play a pretty difficult platformer, uh, you should pick this one up. I did because um, I wanted to check it out. I've heard many things about it, and uh, that's, that's what made me decide on that. Next up, we have Death Spank. Uh, this is a, an action RPG uh, that is on sale for $1.49. Uh, I did pick this one up, um, so I, I know very little about it, but it looks fun and uh, it was highly recommended. So, uh, Next, we have Dogfight 1942. Uh, this is an aerial combat game uh, on sale for $0.99. Cents. Uh, this one also has DLC that is a little bit pricier. It goes for around uh, $5, I believe, each. Um, could be less, um, but um, definitely if you buy this one and you care about uh, the completion and getting all the achievements, uh, just note that this one has DLC that is not on sale. Uh, next, uh, we have Dust Force. This is a Clean Freak's uh, Dream. Uh, this is a platformer. Uh, on sale for uh, 99 cents. Uh, I did pick this one up because uh, it was under two dollars. Like I said, I tried to pick up any game that was under two dollars, uh, so this was um, a no-brainer for me. Uh, okay, next we have the Fancy Pants Adventures. Uh, this is a platformer. I remember playing this one on PC, so I'm uh, excited to play this one again. This is uh, 99 cents currently, and uh, yeah, I think you should pick this one up. Okay. On to the next tier, we have Final Exam. This is a beat-em-up 
uh, currently on sale for $1.64. Uh, so I did pick this one up um, again because of the price. I know very little about it, but um, I do enjoy a good beat em up from time to time. The Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams. This is a platformer on sale currently for $3.74. Uh, you can also get this one on Xbox One, uh, Director's Cut. Um, so either way, uh, I think I picked this one up either Games with Gold a long time ago. Uh, so if you did uh, pick that one up uh, at the time, then you probably already own it. But I still got this one because uh, I like to play the original too, uh, not just the director's cut or a remaster. So uh, so I think, you know, this one looks challenging as well, just like a lot of platformers. But um, yeah, so I did pick this one up. Next, we have Legend of K Anniversary. This is a beat-em-up platformer. A uh, little bit pricier, but um, still probably a, a decent deal. This is uh, currently on sale for $7.49. Uh, you can also get this on PS2. That's the original release. Uh, I don't know the price of that one. So um, I picked this one up here because it probably has better graphics and uh, uh, and uh, probably easier to play as well. So I did, I did get this one. Mighty number no. nine. So this is a uh, platformer Mega Man clone. I think it is by the original creator of Mega Man. Uh, I have not played this one, but it is on sale for uh, 99 cents. I think this one was an uh, easy decision to get. Uh, it is also available on uh, Xbox One, but for some reason it has an unobtainable achievement on Xbox One, but it does not on the 360. So uh, either way, uh, you can get them on both. All right, next we have uh, an arcade Kinect game. This is Mini Ninjas Adventures. Uh, I have not played the other Mini Ninjas game, but I know it's by IO Interactive, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, so this is like an action adventure game, uh, currently on sale for $1.49. Uh, so I did pick this one up. Um, know very little about it, but uh, I'm guess I'm guessing I'm gonna have to break up my Connect for this one. So, but it's on sale, so uh, why not? All right, next we have one of my all-time favorites, at least, uh, from uh, my childhood. <laughs> childhood, my younger years, I should say, not my childhood, but um, this is the Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection. This is a fighting uh, collection that is currently on sale for $4.99, so you get uh, three games with this one, um, and I think it's worth picking this one up because uh, I have not seen this one on sale in the past very often, um, so I, I did pick this one up 50% off. Uh, we have uh, Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero, and all of the Resident Evil games are on sale for $1.99. Um, but currently, uh, Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero are the only ones that are digital only. The other ones you can get through a code or on disc. So I definitely recommend picking up these two, but in general, since $1.99 is a great price, I would pick up all of these Resident Evil games it really doesn't matter if they're um, available on newer consoles because they're, they're not $1.99 on the newer consoles currently. I don't know if they usually are on sale for that cheap, but I would pick up uh, these guys. The next one here is Rocket Riot. This is a shoot 'em up um, and it's currently on sale for $2.49 uh, and digital only, like I said. I think it was available on either Windows Phone or Windows 8 at some point. Uh, but if you want to snag this one before um, before the marketplace shuts down, I would recommend it. It's um, it's fun for a couple hours, I would say. So it's pretty crazy and um, a lot of destruction. So uh, yeah, I had fun with this game, but I had played it um, somewhere else. Uh, I think it was Windows probably. So, uh, but yeah, this is a fun fun game. Next up, we have Spare Parts. This is a uh, co-op platformer. I think it is local co-op. Uh, it's currently on sale for 99 cents. I did pick this one up because who knows, I might want to play uh, some local co-op someday. And uh, to my knowledge, this is the only way you can get it. Um, so I think it's a, a good price and worth picking up. Strider is a platformer uh, currently on sale for $1.49. Uh, you can also get this one on Xbox One, which I think even on uh, even this week it's on sale. Uh, so take your pick there. Um, but I picked this one up anyway because it's um, uh, $1.49, so I think that's a good price. Uh, okay, on to the next tier. We have the two dishwasher games, which were also a surprise addition to this sale. Uh, this week, uh, I did absolutely pick both of these up because I had mentioned them previously alongside Charlie Murder. 
they are uh, beat em up games uh, on sale. Both of them are dollar, uh, excuse me, 99 cents, a uh, killer deal. Uh, so definitely pick these two guys up. Uh, this is a Microsoft published games, just like Charlie Murder. So uh, yes, uh, pick these guys up. Uh, next, we have The Escapists. This is a simulation strategy game uh, that's on sale for $2.99. Uh, you can also get this one on uh, Xbox One. Uh, I do believe it actually has, um, as far as I know, it has more achievements. It probably has more levels and more um, more add-ons to it. Uh, so this is, um, you know, I did pick this one up because um, I wanted to check it out. So, But either way, you can get it on both consoles. The Book of Unwritten Tales 2. This is a point-and-click adventure game that is currently on sale for $4.99. Uh, I had previously purchased this, I think, for about the same price. Uh, so if you like the point-and-click games like I do, uh, you should pick this one up. Uh, you can also get this one on Xbox One. So uh, again, I'm not sure how often it goes on sale uh, there, but um, I, did, I do own them on both, actually. Uh, okay. Next is one of my all-time favorites, uh, favorite arcade games. This is Valiant Hearts The Great War. Uh, this is a, just an adventure game, uh, and it's on sale for $2.99. Uh, you can also get this one on Xbox One, but why not just um, own them on both and then play them twice? Uh, you know, it's, it's such a good game, so I definitely recommend picking this one up on, on either console. Uh, next, we have Voodoo Dice, which is a puzzle game. Uh, this is currently $1.99 uh, and digital only. So, uh, yeah, I did pick this one up. Um, I do like to play a puzzle game from time to time just to break things up from uh, first-person shooters and um, point-and-click adventure games and horror games, stuff like that. So, yeah, I did pick this one up. Next, we have uh, kind of a... Not necessarily a hidden gem, but uh, I have played a little bit of this one. Uh, this is Warp. Uh, this is a stealth game. Uh, and is currently on sale for 99 cents. So I definitely recommend picking this one up. This one, uh, from what I played, is uh, is very, very good. Um, so I'm looking forward to going back and playing more. Okay. And the final three here. The first of them is Yar's Revenge. This is a on-rail shooter. Uh, currently on sale for 99 cents. Uh, so I did pick this one up uh, due to the good price. And I had heard good things about this uh, previously. So... Um, all right, next it's uh, Zeit 2. Uh, this is a shoot 'em up uh, currently on sale for $1.99. Uh, so I did pick this one up as well. And then lastly, we have Zombie Driver HD. It's a vehicular combat game with zombies. You guessed it. Uh, this is currently on sale for $2.49. Uh, and you can also get the uh, Ultimate Edition, I believe it's called, on Xbox One. So uh, similar to uh, The Escapist, they just uh, added more stuff to the game on the Xbox One. So that's all the games that I bought on sale or currently own. Um, so in the next part here, we're going to talk about other games that were not on sale that I would recommend. Welcome to part two of this video, where I'll be discussing digital-only games that are currently not on sale, but where I still recommend that you pick these up. Uh, this list is going to be significantly shorter uh, than the ones that are on sale, because uh, obviously I know games can get pretty expensive, so and since these are not on sale, uh, you're not going to get many uh, 99 cent games here. Uh, but the first one I wanted to talk about is um, Amy. Uh, Amy is a survival horror game. Um, it is uh, currently $4.99, which I think is a good price. So if you're into uh, the survival horror genre, you might want to uh, check this one out and consider picking it up before it's, uh, before it's too late. Uh, next one is... Call of Duty Classic. Uh, this is a first-person shooter, the very first Call of Duty game. Uh, I have actually not played this since I played it for the first time on PC. Uh, it is currently $19.99, so it is uh, much higher than uh, the other games I've talked about here. But if you really want to play this one, uh, this might be worth checking out. Uh, we have Dust and Elysian Tale. This is a, an action RPG. 
this currently goes for $14.99. I think at some point I bought this for 50% off, so I got it for $7.50. Uh, but this is a good game from what I've heard, uh, so you might want to check this one out. Uh, I think this is the only place you can uh, play this as well. So this is Fruit Ninja Connect uh, Arcade. Uh, and this is just an action game. I think most people have played this either on their phone or uh, so I figured I would uh, get this um, I actually got this a code in uh, The gunstringer game. So if you find a physical copy of that you might get lucky and get a free game Otherwise, it is a 999 and this one also has DLC, which I don't think the DLC is very expensive It's like a couple of dollars each uh, But just know that if you get this one, it does have DLC with achievements uh, next, we have uh, Goosebumps, the game. Uh, this is a point-and-click game, uh, point-and-click adventure game. Uh, it goes for $9.99. Uh, like I said, this is digital only, but you can also get this one on Xbox One. Um, and uh, I like point-and-click games, so at some point I, I did pick this one up uh, for cheaper than $9.99. But it is there if you're interested. Uh, next, we have one game that has multiple releases, and it can get a little bit confusing uh, because some of them are digital only and others you can get on disc. But obviously, if you only want to play this game one time, uh, you just have to pick it up on disc. Uh, but that is uh, King's Quest. It is a point and click uh, adventure game. Uh, you can get it here, uh, and I'm trying to fully remember which one i think the this king's quest right here is the digital only so you would have to get the season pass or all the episodes separately uh, um, and the same thing with uh if you get it on disc you would still have to pop it in the disc tray and then download all the episodes to be able to play it so you might want to keep that in mind too if you buy a physical copy that um just uh, pop it in and load up the game and see if you uh, have to download all the episodes before uh before the store closes. Next here is Life is Strange. Um, they did release a Xbox 360 version of this one uh, and it is digital only. You can get this on Xbox One uh, on disc and digital um, and the same same format there too. You have to uh, download the episode separately or do a season pass uh, and then load up the game and uh, download them that way. Uh, so yeah, choice is yours there. This is currently uh, I believe it's free. The first episode is free, but then you have to buy the episodes as well. Next, we have Loco Cycle. Uh, this is a arcade racing game. Uh, it goes for $9.99. Uh, you can also buy this on Xbox One. Uh, and just keep in mind, if you buy it on the 360 Marketplace, you need to go in and download the required DLC to be able to even play the game. Uh, and that DLC is the data pack right here. Uh, so just make sure if you do buy this uh, that you download this DLC. Uh, next, we have one of my all-time favorite stealth games, Mark of the Ninja. Uh, this one is uh, $14.99. Uh, there's also DLC for this one. It's like a special edition DLC. So it's this guy right here, Mark the Ninja Special Edition. But if you do buy this uh, version here, you do get uh, a discounted price on the Xbox One version. They're remastered. So it might be worth if you like... Uh, playing two different versions, you know, playing the original and uh, doing the remaster. If you buy it here, you do get a discount on the newer console. So something to keep in mind. Uh, great game, though. Next, we have Max, the Curse of Brotherhood. Uh, this is a platformer. Uh, this is $14.99. Uh, you can also get this on Xbox One. Uh, but I really enjoyed this game, so I ended up buying it uh, at both places. Uh, next, we have... Uh, probably a more of an unknown title. I think a lot of people know about Naughty Bear, uh, but this is the arcade uh, game, uh, Naughty Bear Panic in Paradise. So this is a uh, stealth game. Uh, it goes for $14.99. Uh, and I, didn't, I did end up picking this one up um, just because I didn't know if it would go on sale. And uh, I like the stealth games like I've mentioned a couple of times. So um, you might want to check this one out if... Um, if you want, I haven't seen many people talk about this one. So uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Red Johnson's Chronicles, One Against All. This is a point and click adventure game. Uh, goes for $9.99. Uh, and I did buy this one because I like the point and click games. And um, surprisingly enough, there aren't that many point and click games on the Xbox 360. So I tried to kind of pick up the ones I could. Um, so if this ever goes on sale before uh, 
before a Monday when it closes, then uh, great, you know, then at least uh, consider checking this one out if you like that genre. Russian Attack Expatriate, not to be confused by the other Russian Attack uh, game uh, that went on sale. Uh, I did not cover that one, but I do think that's just a port from the NES version. Uh, but this is Russian Attack Expatriate. This one is a stealth game. Uh, it goes for $9.99. Uh, and I, uh, I did pick this one up. Uh, same as uh, the previous games I've mentioned here. I didn't know if it was going to go on sale. So I just uh, took a chance and, and got them anyway. Uh, State of Decay. So this is a Microsoft published game. Uh, this is an open world survival horror game with uh, zombies. Uh, this goes for $19.99 and it also has uh, DLC. So definitely keep that in mind. It's uh, available on Xbox One. You can transfer your progress if you play it on the 360. Uh, so I, uh, I started my uh, playthrough on the Xbox One. Uh, so I might actually start over and, and play it on the 360 first and then transfer my progress to the Xbox One. So, but either way, it's available on both. Um, so if this never goes on sale, uh, you can get it on newer consoles. Uh, and lastly, uh, we have The Bridge. This is a puzzle game. Uh, it's one of the earlier uh, Xbox One crossovers uh, and the later 360 release. Uh, this is $9.99. Uh, and like I said, you can get this one on Xbox One, uh, but I did uh, pick it up here as well. Uh, just in case so so that was the list of the uh digital only non backwards compatible games uh, that are not on sale that i would recommend checking out um, and in the next section here we're going to look at some of the dlc for uh, both physical games and for uh, digital games as well this is going to be part three and the final part uh, and if you haven't already uh, and you enjoyed this video uh, please give it a like um, and comment below if there's any games here that you particularly like or would recommend uh, and if there's any games that i've missed so far um, and uh, if you want to see more of our content um, please subscribe all right so this section is going to be more geared towards the uh, dlc portion of the marketplace so that involves um, physical games and digital games alike so let's just get started here uh, first game is going to be Aliens Colonial Marines. This is a first person shooter. This is currently not on sale, uh, but you can get this for $19.99 still uh, on the marketplace. You can also get this on disc uh, for much, much cheaper, uh, but it does have DLC. So you might want to keep that in mind, uh, even if you buy it on disc. Uh, and it's going to be um, called Stasis Interrupted. So it's this guy right here. Um, and it's harder for me to look up prices since I already bought these. Um, but I believe this one is around $9.99. So uh, again, if you buy a physical copy for $5 and you get this one, uh, it might not be too bad. Um, but it does have some extra missions and some co-op, I believe. So you might want to check that one out. All right, next is uh, Batman Arkham City. Uh, one of my all-time favorite games, honestly, all the Arkham games. I, I love these games. Um, so Arkham City has a DLC, um, and uh, you can. It is currently on sale uh, digitally as well. You can get this for $4.99. Um, but like I said, you can get on disc. Uh, it has DLC. I'm trying to see if it has a season pass. Uh, but either way, I would actually recommend getting this, the Game of the Year edition, on disc. Um, because you can um, you can get a much better price for it, you know, especially if you uh, if you go out and buy it soon. Uh, if you don't already own this, uh, I would go with the Game of the Year edition on disc. Um, so, but either way, uh, it is also available on Xbox One. Uh, but I have actually noticed after playing the Xbox One version that the graphics uh, are much better on the 360 for some reason. So um, I definitely wouldn't pass up on this one. I still would uh, recommend getting it on the 360. Uh, because, uh, yeah, for some reason when they remastered on the newer consoles, it just looks darker and bleaker. I, I don't know. It's, um, it's one of those things, I guess. But uh, great game nonetheless. All right, next we have uh, Brink. Uh, Brink is a first-person shooter. Uh, it is currently on sale uh, digitally for $2.99, um, and it also has DLC. Uh, this game is typically not very expensive physically, I would say it's in the four, five to uh, ten dollar region, um, and then uh, the DLC. I believe it's four ninety nine. 
if I can't see it here, it's very cheap. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, Agents of Change right here. Uh, so you can definitely pick that one up um, alongside the digital copy. So um, if you are into first-person shooters. Uh, Alright, next we have Bulletstorm. It is another first-person shooter. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, it is currently on sale for $1.99. Uh, it also has uh, DLC. It has two pieces of DLC, uh, which if I'm not mistaken, I think they are both $9.99 each. Uh, it also has an online pass here, so past the marketplace shutdown. Um, I think new copies uh, come with it. And this is free now. I, I think EA made all the online passes free. So uh, if you um, if you buy this one, just make sure you pick this one up as well. And then you have Blood Symphony and uh, uh, the Gun Sonata DLC packs. Uh, this one is also available on uh, Xbox One in the full clip edition. So you have some choices there, but um, at least uh, the digital uh, part of this one with the game, it's, it's very cheap. So, uh, but I, I recommend the game overall. Next is another one of my all-time favorites here. It's Dishonored. Um, so this is a stealth game. Uh, it is currently on sale as well for $2.99. Uh, you can find this on disc, on newer consoles, and uh, it has a DLC. Uh, and the 360 version has um, a Game of the Year edition that uh, should be relatively uh, affordable now as well. So... Either way, you can't go wrong here, and it's a fantastic game. Uh, and if you have not played this, I would uh, recommend picking it up. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, really good. Uh, next, we have uh, DMC Devil May Cry. Uh, this is a hack and slash game. Uh, it's currently on sale for $1.99. You can also get this on disc uh, and also available on uh, Xbox One. Uh, but if you decide to get it on uh, the 360, it does have a piece of DLC uh, that I'm going to show here. So uh, the DLC you're looking for, obviously, you know, I should should have said that has a lot of DLC. But the ones that I focus on primarily are the ones that have achievements in this case. So it's going to be Virgil's Downfall right here. Uh, I wonder if this Bloody Palace is free. Uh, but definitely check this out when you uh, when you look around the marketplace here. So, uh, but good game though. I, I haven't uh, fully completed this one or finished it, but uh, from what I play, this is this one's great. Next, we have Dead to Rights Retribution. This is a third-person shooter, a beat 'em up. Uh, this one is physical only, uh, but it does have DLC that you should definitely pick up. And it is currently. Uh, it's going to be this one DLC here, GAC pack, and it is currently free, so uh, don't miss out on this one. Next one here is going to be Guilty Gear 2 Overture. Um, this is kind of interesting because uh, I definitely don't play this type of game very often. This is a real-time strategy hack and slash because um, I think the Guilty Gear games are mostly known for being fighting games, uh, but this one was definitely very different. Um, and it's not on sale, but it is av available digitally for $19.99. Uh, you can obviously get it on disc as well. So this one has DLC, like I said, um, and it has, um, it's just an extra character. I think that you need to still play through the most of the game to be able to play as this character or, uh, use, uh, use him. So it's this new master Raven right here. It has other DLC as well, as you can see, but this is the one that has uh, achievements attached to it. Um, so you might want to check that one out. All right, next one. We have Kanan Lynch, Dead Men. This is a third-person shooter. Uh, it's currently on sale for $2.99. Uh, you can get this on disc. And, um, and it actually has a piece of DLC uh, that is free. I, I'm pretty sure, not the trailer, but... Um, it is free. Uh, it's called the Dope Bag right here. So definitely grab that one uh, if you're planning on playing this. Um, so yeah, so it's free. Free is always good. We'll take that any day. Okay, next is... Scrolly, scrolly. Um, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. This is an uh, arcade racing game. It is currently on sale for $1.99. Uh, you can get also get this one on disc um, and it has DLC 
I had spoken about this uh, previously in my other video. Uh, so you can you have some options here, but I would recommend if you really wanted to uh, get the DLC uh, for some extra achievements and some extra stuff, uh, go for the uh, complete DLC bundle here for $29.99. But it's hard to recommend the DLC bundle that is not discounted, uh, but this is probably your best bet if you were to do that. Uh, but the game itself though is uh, is cheap so if you just wanted to do that you absolutely can the next one here uh, is omerta city of gangsters uh, this is a turn-based management game a mafia mafioso game uh, it is currently on sale for 2.99 uh, you can also get this one on disc uh, for pretty cheap i think i got mine um, even a new copy for like ten dollars so yeah very affordable but um also available uh, yeah, digitally, like I said, uh, for now at least. Um, the DLC in question here is going to be, again, it has a lot of different DLCs here. Uh, but the one that has the achievements attached to it for the full completion here is going to be uh, the Japanese incentive right here. Um, and again, I think it's like $4.99, so it's not, not too bad. Uh, but you can also get the other ones here if you really like the game, of course. So, uh, So there's that one. Uh, next, we have um, a pretty interesting one. I would say of all the ones that I um, have talked about, this is probably the one I would recommend picking up the most because um, um, from what I understand, the physical is a little bit harder to find and I don't think it was released in every region. Uh, but that game is Painkiller, Hell and Damnation. Uh, it's a first-person shooter. It's not on sale. Uh, it goes for $29.99. Uh, and it has a ton of DLC to go with it. Um, so this is probably going to put you back around $60. But I did. I used <laughs> I used some Microsoft points to uh, put towards this purchase here. Um, because I, I really wanted it. And uh, as I mentioned, the physical of this uh, might have been a Europe only. And uh, I think Japan got it released too. I have not seen this in North America, so you might want to consider that too if you are in the United States or Canada. Um, can't confirm that, but let me know in the comments if you know that uh, if you know that this one is available uh, over here. Uh, but yeah, it's it's going to be a lot of DLC as you see here. All the check marks is going to be what you're looking for, uh, except for the demo. But you can, of course, if you want. Um, so then we have uh, yeah, all of these. There's, I think there's. Um, six pieces of DLC you're looking for here. So, but it's recommended, I, I do enjoy this game. I played the first one either on, uh, was it Xbox or PC? Uh, so definitely check this one out and uh, think long and hard and see if you can have some uh, uh, <laughs> some points to spend on this one. So, uh, but either way, it's good. All right, next one here is Sniper Elite 3. Uh, this is a third person shooter stealth game. Um, this one is going to be very difficult to recommend getting this way because it is currently $39.99, not on sale, obviously. Um, you can get it on disc. You can get the Ultimate Edition on disc. Uh, you can also get this on Xbox One. Um, it has DLC. Uh, and I wanted to point one thing out that um, probably isn't known to uh, most people is that uh, if you do pick up the Ultimate Edition on disc, uh, you're going to have to pick up this uh, piece of DLC right here. Save Churchill Part 3. If you want to get the achievements, for some reason, when you buy the Ultimate Edition on disc and then you play it that way, this one does not unlock the achievement. So I, I had to separately buy this one uh, and then I know for a fact that it works. So you can obviously buy these. Uh, I think each of the DLCs are $7.99 and the game uh, you can get on disc separately from the Ultimate Edition. But uh, I will... I just wanted to point this one out because if you uh, if you're banking on getting the physical and then you find out that this doesn't work, that's why. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't work, but um, I can confirm that you have to do it this way uh, to be able to to get all the achievements. So, Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. This is a first-person shooter. Uh, this one has been delisted already, but uh, you can still buy the DLC. And there's a couple of DLCs here. Uh, one is the story DLC uh, that is $4.99, and that is Siberian Strike right here. Uh, you should also think about picking up the multiplayer expansion pack. I think that one is free. Um, and yeah, so 
Uh, just know that, yeah, you can still get this one on disc, but definitely pick up the DLC. This is <laughs> Warhammer uh, 40k Space Marine. Uh, this one is uh, a third-person shooter. Uh, it's not on sale. You can buy this for $19.99, which uh, might be a good price at this point, um, considering the physical market. Um, so definitely want to do some research uh, there and see if that makes more sense. Uh, yeah, and like I said, you can get it on disc as well. Uh, and it does have a DLC. Uh, that I made sure to buy and I know for a fact that this one is only $4.99 um, You can get the elite pass which is kind of like a season pass thing um, But if we look here, it's gonna be uh, and I may have already passed it again for some reason this uh, uh, I think it is the chaos unleashed right here and it's $4.99 um, And it gives you some uh, some co-op some multiplayer stuff So if you are planning on playing this with a friend or uh, multiple people, it might be worth uh, picking this one up uh, because I know that uh, this game is about to get very popular soon um, with the sequel coming out. So yeah, uh, I would recommend this game. I have not played it, but uh, from every gameplay I've seen, this is this is uh, one I'm looking forward to. All right, moving on here. Uh, last few, uh, we have Stranglehold. Uh, which is a uh, third-person shooter, um, kind of like, um, you know, similar to uh, Wet and Max Payne. Uh, so this is um, kind of slow-motion third-person shooter. Uh, this one is physical only, uh, but it does have DLC. Um, that is, uh, I don't know why this one sticks out to me, but I know this one is like $14.99 uh, because it's, I don't think it's ever been on sale. So it's this map pack here, and it's purely online multiplayer which you can't play with others, but I don't think anyone plays this game anymore uh, unless John Boo uh, pulled up a server or something here. Uh, but yeah, I think um, I think this one's going to be probably a pass for most, but just know that, yes, it is there. It is available, and it's going to be gone forever if you uh, if you want to get the full completion, basically. So, uh, so either way, it's there. Uh, but it, it's a pretty fun game, though. Like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite game, but it's, uh, it's pretty fun. Um, if you like those type of shooters. All right, and moving on to another one of my all-time favorites, uh, Evil Within. So this is a survival horror game. Uh, it's currently on sale for $2.99. Uh, you can also get this on disc uh, and on the Xbox One as well. So it has DLC, which the DLCs are also fantastic, just like the main game is. Um, so either way, however you do this, I... Um, recommend picking this one up um, and um, I haven't tried this on the 360 um, I can imagine it probably doesn't run as well as it does on an Xbox one on a series X uh, but it looks like I bought the season pass and again I'm gonna guess it's between 10 20 dollars uh, something like that so um, each of the DLCs I think are 999 and then the executioner is 499. Uh, so yeah, but uh, fantastic game. Um, definitely recommend uh, playing this on whatever console. But it is it is on sale, um, just not the DLC. And that game is Watch Dogs. Uh, Watch Dogs is an open world stealth third person shooter. Uh, this one is currently on sale for three ninety nine. Uh, you can also get this on disc and on the Xbox One as well. Uh, it does have one uh, one piece of DLC. Uh, you can also get the season pass here uh, that I, I believe I picked up the season pass on this one. It was on sale a while back. Yep. So it's the Bad Blood DLC that you're looking for. But with the season pass, uh, you get all this other stuff too. But um, again, uh, probably around the $20 mark uh, for the season pass. So, uh, But again, you can get this on newer consoles. And, um, uh, and again... Uh, probably better to just play it on a newer console, but you know, it, it's uh, it's your choice. So that was it for that section right here. That was all the games that have DLC, whether it was uh, digital games or physical games. Uh, so you might want to look through this list and uh, see if there's anything that's worthwhile getting for you, and if there's any games here that um, you want to pick up. And just when we thought we were done, here's a bonus section. I realized that there's a lot of other games here too I wanted to mention, so let's just get to it. I'm um, not going to say too much else, just uh, these are games that are also on disc, uh, but you can uh, grab these on the marketplace before uh, they shut down. The first one here is Armored Core Verdict Day. This one goes for $19.99. Uh, it goes for much, much higher physically. 
Um, so you might want to consider this one. Uh, next one is the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. This one goes for $14.99. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this one is expensive uh, physically, but you might want to check this one out as well. Uh, next one is uh, Destroy All Humans, Path of the Furon. This one is on sale for uh, $4.99. Uh, definitely want to think about picking this one up. Uh, I think the uh, disc is uh, uh, much uh, more expensive than this. Uh, next one is Dark. This one has definitely risen in price. This one is currently on sale for $2.99. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. Next, we have uh, Dark Star 1. Uh, not entirely sure if this one has gone up in price, but it is only $1.99 on sale right now. So if you're into the aerial combat uh, kind of game, then uh, this might be uh, a good choice for you. Uh, Dark Messiah, Might and Magic Elements. Uh, this one is on sale for $3.99. I know this one has gone up in price lately, so you might want to check this one out. Eternal Sonata. This one is not on sale, but you can get this one for $14.99. Another one that I know has gone up in price lately, so you might want to check this one out as well. Uh, Legend of Spyro. This one is uh, on sale right now for $9.99. Uh, this one goes in the $50 range consistently, so this one I would recommend picking up. Uh, 99 Nights 2. This one is currently on sale for $7.49. Uh, it's not the lowest price, but um, it's most likely going to be lower than the physical price. So if you're interested in this type of game, um, then uh, check it out. We have uh, Otomedia's Excellent. This one, I think, is on the rise. Um, I would say that, yeah, this is not on sale. It's $19.99. So if you are lucky and find a good price for this, uh, definitely pick it up physically. But know that you can still buy this uh, until it, the marketplace shuts down. Next, we have uh, Remember Me. Uh, this one is currently on sale for $1.99. I'm not sure if this game has gone up in price in the physical market, but you should pick this up. It's a great game, and I highly recommend it. Sonic the Hedgehog. This one was permanently reduced um, a few years ago. It is $4.99. Uh, I would think that the disc uh, copy goes for much more than this, so uh, consider picking this one up, uh, especially if you're a fan of the Sonic games. This is the Sonic 2006 game. And lastly, I would say do not skip out on this guy. And that is Tornado Outbreak. 100,000% pick this one up because you will never find a better price uh, in the physical market. This one is on sale right now for $4.99. I highly recommend it. And uh, that's really all I wanted to say in this section here. It's a little bonus section that I realized there were a lot of different games that I didn't get to, but as uh, probably any uh, content creator will tell you about this kind of content, it's impossible to cover every every game, uh, both physical and digital. But uh, that was the uh, little section I wanted to add at the end here. All right, that was it for my comprehensive list of the Xbox 360. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.